Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my YouTube channel. Uh, today is a very exciting video because we are starting the tutorial of Eret's entire castle. Uh, and this is probably gonna be a long, a long series here because, uh, Eret's castle is really big. It's probably one of the biggest builds on the server, at least one of the most, uh, one of the largest independent builds. Uh, so we have, we have a lot to build here. So, uh, obviously this is gonna be a multiple part series. Part one, I, I don't know, I think I might cap it at like an hour per episode, uh, or shorter, longer. I don't know, it depends how it goes, but, uh, hopefully today we're gonna get this build done, some of the paths, terraforming, bridge, uh, some of the walls, uh, maybe the statue, I don't know, I haven't really decided how we're gonna build it, uh, we're just gonna kinda go with it for now, but yeah, this should be a lot of fun, of course, if you are following these tutorials, I'd love to see it, if you wanna at me on Discord with a picture of you following these tutorials, or adding me on Twitter, I'd love to respond to these, if you do follow these tutorials and at me, I'll follow you back, guaranteed, uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the tutorial, alright, so here we are in the tutorial world, uh, kinda sad, there's <laughs> no Aaron's castle, but we're gonna fix that, uh, so, first thing that we need to do is we're gonna update, like, this little- a few things out here, uh, just quickly. So, we're gonna get rid of this crafting table, we're gonna get some fences, break out these three, break out these three. The pressure plate is still on the floor there. Uh, we're gonna break this scaffolding and this scaffolding, and then we're gonna replace this oak fence and this, uh, or, sorry, oak plank with a fence. And, uh, a few more things. I guess we can get our torches. There should be a torch there, should be a torch there, this one's there, actually, that one's- sorry, it was on that side. And we can get rid of this one. And then there's torches. Uh, last thing we're going to do, we're going to get an item frame right here and put a piece of pink wool. All right, so over here, you had some off-camera homework. I decided to get rid of all of the trees. If you didn't get rid of the trees, you failed. Uh, so, looks like we already, we did start this path a little bit last time, and maybe we did a little bit of terrain over here. Uh, so what we need to do, we need to change some of this. So this path should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, perfect. And then a slab up. And then this block right here, the coordinates. Here's the coordinate in case you want it. 250, negative 190. Perfect, that's right. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop out all of these blocks real quick. So it should be in line with this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, uh, one. Uh, and then one, two, three, four. Fill in that block right there. So there's the train on that side. This side, we need to knock out these two. So it should be two, two, and then four, two, and then fill in these ones. Break out that grass. There's a few random torches. I don't know how crazy we're gonna get about this, but... They go in those those spots, one, two, three. Fourth one back, there's one like right here, and there's one right there. If you want to copy those, you can. If you don't want to, I understand. Get rid of that grass, there should be a torch in line with that. And that, this grass block is actually still here, uh, somehow. All right, so there's a strip mine right here. We're gonna lay out the base of this. I don't think we're gonna do this, uh, today, but right where we had these two grass blocks, come to the first one right here, the second one in, the third one in, actually. We're gonna break out these three and put stairs going into the ground like this, uh, and then we're gonna knock out one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see, is it five, uh, six, six, and then knock out all of these, and then this, this cobblestone staircase goes down to, like, Y level 13, or Y level 12, uh, so you can just keep breaking this down, and, uh, just like that, and then you would have a strip mine going down, I'm not gonna do that today, but there you go, that's, that is the location of the strip mine, in case you wanted it, alright, so before we can continue the prime path, uh, it should, it be, it'll be up on this layer right here, so it'll be one up to the third one, which is in line with that first stair, uh, before we do that, Everything on this layer, so this is a uh, Y level 64, we need to get rid of all of this ground, and it sh it'll connect, like, all the way back over here to this water pool, and we need to just flatten everything on this layer, and we also need to get rid of these spruce trees, uh, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, now that we have flattened everything, uh, replace any stone you see with grass, it should all be grass. <laughs> okay, perfect, and also you can leave, like, some of these ferns over here, but the rest of it is flattened. Uh, up here on this slab, this is one of... 21. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we need to make this the total length. So let's drag this all out. There we go. More prime path, more primes. All right. After that one, we should have, uh, it should go up two. So we're going to do a little two by three of solid planks. Now what we need, we need to get our stairs out and we need to, I'm going to put like a temporary block under here. Actually, I'm going to do it a few times. So we're gonna be out, do a few stairs. So after these two blocks, uh, two full blocks, we need four stairs. That's one, two, three, four, four stairs like that. And also, this is all gonna be covered underneath the bridge, so it doesn't really matter what's under here. I'm gonna put like a torch to light it up, I guess. So there'll be some hollow space under there. Uh, and there we go. There's those four. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch to slabs. So I'm gonna put a slab up here, and this is one, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth one is gonna be extended. Uh, so let me. Put these on either side. Uh, don't worry about the length of this one right now. Uh, we're going to leave it like this. We're going to leave it like this for now. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of the, the dirt under here. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but might as well. All right, so now we're going to lay out the little tower 
that goes uh, right here on either side like this and connects along the top. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to come to this area, which is 21 long, and uh, it doesn't matter which side you're looking at, I'm going to look at this side for now. We're going to go to the 13th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And on the 13th one, on the, the grass block in front of it, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, on the 5th one, knock that out, and make that andesite on the floor, and that is exactly where the door goes. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to lay this out with polished andesite for now, and uh, we're going to go to either side of the door. And then we're going to do diagonal one, one, two, three, four, five, Diag diagonal one, one, two, three, four, five, diagonal one, one, two, three, four, five, diagonal one. And uh, this one over here actually overhangs uh, the ground a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some dirt and uh, just put dirt like directly underneath this. Don't worry about the sand or any of that. Uh, it's exactly like that. And then we can get some regular oak planks and the floor in here. Oh, I didn't get regular oak planks. The floor in here is going to be regular oak planks. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to build this exact same thing on this side. All right, there we go. We have the base of our towers in place. So now what I'm going to do, um, we're actually going to knock out the ones on either side of the door and make these stone bricks uh, and wrap it around the doors. And I'm going to do it on both sides. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm only going to work on this one, this one right here. And uh, then it's going to be like an exact mirror image to the other one. But it's pretty much the same. The only difference is that the doors on the first floor... Uh, so that won't really matter. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get polished into sight and wrap it around that. And then an extra layer on top of this. And this is going to be like a very common theme throughout Eret's entire castle. Uh, and then on this spot, we're going to go two stone bricks, two polished into sight. On this spot right here, we're going to do polished into sight up along these sides. Sort of make it into like a, a box right here, a five by five. And then put an extra row on the bottom half. And then stone bricks on those sides. And then last thing we need, we need fences. And fences are the windows. And so what I did on this side, we're going to do on these three other sides, and on these other three spots, we're going to do this, so I'll be right back. There you go. The tower should look just like this, so when you're looking at the one, the one on the left side, there should be a sign above the door that says Eret Tower on the first and third line in all caps, just like that. Now we're going to get some torches out, and we're going to put torches on either side of the door. And on the right one, on this front-facing wall, we're going to put torches there and there. Uh, in the corners. These ones are, are by the door, and this one's in the corner of the door. Alright, so inside each floor of the castle, obviously there's floors, so each floor is three blocks tall, and then on the fourth one here, we're gonna do a full row of uh, planks. Don't worry, there's gonna be ladders in here, but uh, for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it blank on the inside. We'll come back and do the interiors. Right, so there we go. We filled in the floor like that, and next, we're going to start the next floor, and it's gonna, it's gonna start getting repetitive, and I'll use world edit, but we're gonna build the second floor for now. So after these two, it's gonna alternate, like, back and forth, so we have these two, and then uh, two stone bricks, two polished stand site, and then uh, we can sort of continue building these same walls, wrap it around like that, do it in this corner as well, uh, and then we could do two right there, fill in that top floor, more windows, just like that, and then this pattern is going to repeat for a total of five floors. That's one, two, we have the first two floors, so we're going to need five more, and everything we build on this tower is also going to be identical on this tower, and uh, also don't forget to fill in all your floors. There's going to be another floor like right here, uh, and then it's going to change a little bit in the middle when it connects, uh, but don't worry. And then on this side above the doors, it's also going to do the same thing, so we'll do this real quick. Uh, connect it like that. We can do our column right there, and then it's going to do the same window right here with uh, the fences, and that so it's the same thing around all four sides uh, so we're gonna finish this floor real quick all right there we go there's the second floor finished so right here i'm gonna use a little bit of world edit just like i did with the big in it hotel uh so i'm gonna come out to this spot right here if you're using world edit as well you can do uh try and copy the same thing i'm doing if you're not using world edit you'll just have to build it by hand uh which is still isn't still isn't that bad so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stack this up a total of three more times for a total of five floors that's one two three four five and there we go there is our five floors just like that and we have the the actual floors inside and on this fifth floor right here uh one little detail there's gonna be slabs on the top here so once you finish the floor obviously pause it and finish that then what we're gonna do we're gonna get slabs and on any of the the side walls that are five long we're gonna go one two and three like alternating skip this one one two three skip that one one two three so basically just every other one gets a, a slab um just like that and then one little detail and then after that one little detail we need to put lanterns on these four spots there we go and now that we have this side finished i'm going to do the exact same thing over here uh obviously just the doors right there the only difference between these is the torches and the sign for now so i'll get back to you once i finish this all right there we go we now have the towers copied on both sides. Don't forget to do the lanterns and the slabs up on this top layer. And now what we're going to do, we're going to do the connecting bit in the middle. 
So grab out your andesite and um, make sure, obviously, it's one, two, three, four, five floors tall. So on the fifth floor, come underneath that right here. And we're going to connect it in these spots right here, right? And on this side. So I'm going to drag these all the way across and connect it. And on this side as well. There we go. And now what we're going to do, we're going to knock out this area right here. Because it's one connecting path. So knock out a three by three area. There we go. And we're also going to uh, put another row underneath this row. Um, like this. Right now we can get our... Now we can get our blocks out blocks of oak out and then we're gonna make a pathway right here and these blocks right here are still andesite don't swap those out so there we go there is our walkway right there so a few more details we need to do uh we're going to skip these two and then we're gonna do another row right here and another row underneath that and it's mirrored down on the other side as well so we're gonna do these rows all right then in these gaps right here we're gonna skip one do a row of stone bricks skip one and then just keep alternating it all the way across and then in all of these empty spots we are going to put fences and then i'm going to do that on this side as well all right now that you have that copied on both sides go ahead and get out some slabs uh just like we did up here skip this first one and then we're going to alternate the slabs so it should go directly on top of the, the stone brick spots and do it on the other side of course all right the lanterns up here we're going to put a lantern here skip this one put a lantern put a lantern skip this one put a lantern uh, do that on the other side as well. Last thing we need to do is put one andesite right there, and then put a stair there and there, and a slab, and then do that in the other three spots, like this, and then put one here, these two. All right, now what we need to do is we need to do another floor, so we're going to knock out another 3x3 three three underneath this. It's for like a, I don't know, middle walkway area. It's kind of cool. And we're going to get more oak planks, drag all these across, and also don't remove these andesite, just like the ones on top. And there we go. I'm actually trapped in here, so I'm going to hop on out and that is the entire exterior pretty much of this thing um so now what we're gonna do we're going to go ahead and do the interior of this all right so to start off the interior we're going to go onto the side that says air tower uh open this up and then on the inside there's an acacia pressure plate so if you shut the door and right opposite to that there's a birch sign that looks exactly like this big w's big w's big w's big w's i, I don't know why this is here but you know what it's there so we have to add it and that's what I do. So, um, I didn't really say it. There's a torch up in this corner. Not this corner. Just there. Uh, there's a torch right there. Uh, and then on the side that has the ladder, torches there and there. And there's no torches on that wall. So, the ladder goes, uh, opposite the door. We're gonna put ladders here. And we're gonna break through every single floor of the tower. Come back down here. And we're just gonna build a ladder going straight up. Up and up and up and up. And it's level, it's level with this, there's not a ladder up there. So after the big W floor, we are going to head up to this level, face the ladder, put torches there and there, and on the right side, put a torch in the middle, uh, on the third layer up. Uh, then we're gonna get chests, put a double chest, uh, four double chests on either side of this ladder right here. On the wall facing the left, a lot more double chests, we're gonna have to break out these blocks and these blocks, uh, and there's so many double chests. And then there's a furnace with a sideways facing stone cutter right there on this wall. There's a double chest, skip the middle one, double chest, a furnace in the middle, an anvil right there, and two brewing stands on top of that block facing this back wall, a uh, double chest, skip one, a double chest, another brewing stand right there, torch up there in the middle, a torch right there on the right side, and then uh, oops, a crafting table in the middle, and then an inner chest on top of that one, <gasps> and there we go, that is this entire floor done. Uh, I'm not going to worry about all the stuff that's inside the chest. Maybe on the last part, I'll go through and I'll just like open up all the chests, let you guys see it. And you can copy that at your own sanity. All right. So on the next floor, we're going to go onto this side and there's holes right here, uh, but there's still a double chest right there. And then there is a loom facing that way, not that way, but this way. Uh, there's a torch up in this block right here, either side of the ladder, the middle block right here. Uh, and then there's a one in the middle there and that one. And that's all the torches. Uh, and then there's like some auto smelters. So we need to break out these blocks and these blocks. Put a chest there and there. Get your hoppers. Put them facing into that, into the in the floor. The left one, we're going to put a smoker. And this one, oops, it's actually a, supposed to get a blast furnace out. This one is a blast furnace. Hoppers facing into these. And then another chest there and there. And we have to break out these blocks as well. So there we go. There's just some auto smelters. Oh, and there's a smithing table right there. And that is this entire floor. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Then we need to do hoppers facing into the, into them from either side. 
And there we go. That is this entire floor. So those two floors are definitely the hardest. So the next floor right here, we need torches in these spots and on the opposite wall, these spots as well. Those are the only torches. Get some oak slabs and we actually need to patch up these holes. But on that floor, there, there are just open, open holes. And uh, this floor is relatively easy. We're just going to put four beds in these four spots. And uh, that's it. Then in the connecting tunnel, we need to put a torch in this spot and this spot and on the opposite side in these two spots. Nothing else here. And then across from it, we actually are going to get our ladders back out, and we need to do the ladder on this side, because after those beds, there's nothing in any of the other levels. Uh, we actually might need to get the torches, though. Uh, so we're going to put ladders all the way up here, uh, except not on this block again. And uh, we're going to head back down here. So after the one with beds, we're kind of going all over the place, but after the one with beds, there's just one in the middle here, and two on these sides. And a little sneaky one right there. And there's a crafting table and a red bed facing this wall. And that's it. Uh, this tunnel, there's going to be some cakes. We'll put the cakes down in a second. But on the top floor, the other side, torches on the ladder side. And then one in the middle, one in the middle, and then two right there. Uh, and then there should be a crafting table and a furnace in the middle spot right there. Oh, okay, we're going to get done. Most of these levels are pretty easy. They were just those two hard levels. Alright, this side of the tower, the first floor right here, we are going to get uh, an oak pressure plate right there. Torches on either side of the door. Uh, and, wait, no. And then torches across. That's literally it. The next floor, we're going to get actually some soul sand. And we're going to put five right here. Five right here. Five right here. Um, and actually a crafting table right there. And there's a double chest right there. And last last detail last 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 detail a brewing stand right there and then you can plant some some soul sand or what is this nether wart on all of these and there we go that is this level oh yep and i forgot torches in these three middle spots and the back spots here all right next floor is completely empty with just torches there there and there easy floor the next floor is also empty with a torch on either side and then we're back up here and that's pretty much all of the floors last detail before we're done with the castle uh facing towards the community house uh the one or the side close to the community house we are going to break out this lantern on the left side put a cake there a cake floating above that slab cake there and one in that empty spot and there we go that's pretty much the castle there used to be some egg stuff on here and i was going to do the egg uh but eric actually removed that in a recent stream so thank you all right so next up we are going to work on the bridge that goes right here we started laying out some of the some of the stairs right here so this this is a total length of one two three four so far and we need it to be 18 this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and we're gonna have to dig into the ground a little bit and uh like pretty much every tree <laughs> this entire spruce forest across the river is is gone um so don't worry about destroying too many trees because they are all gone i'm just gonna get a few out of the out of my way for now uh this one really goes into my way but there we go and uh we're gonna dig out here and let's extend our path of course okie dokie there we go that is a total length of 18 right there and now we're going to start laying out the bottom here so i'm gonna get these blocks out okay so um what we need to do from the bottom here is where we, the first okay so we had these these two blocks and then this is the the 21 we're gonna put three andesite here and then drag this all the way out and and like right here in line with this grass box it's a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten andesite blocks right here and then we can actually put this one down right here and there should be this piece of grass right here if you're on the seed uh which means you know you're doing it right here's the train if you want to copy that uh or some of the, the grass and sand i don't know and here's what we're gonna do uh, we're also going to be building it on this side, so we can put our 10 here uh, and down like that. And then in the middle, there's going to be stone bricks, so we can put stone bricks right there. That's why I put that torch in there, so in case you're in survival, you don't want mobs to spawn. Uh, so then what we're going to do, we're going to put nanosite on the edge here, and then a stair facing backwards. Put a lantern on top of either of those. Skip a block, put a slab, two full blocks... Uh, and then on top of this first full block, hello wolf, there should be a, a lantern right there. So let's copy this on this side. There we go. This is a little, a little complicated on the side, but it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, then what we're going to do is drag this up another two more, uh, another two. And then we're going to fill in these three with stone bricks and these two 
and then these two up to over one so it makes this shape right here i know just stick with me on this this is kind of a weird design and then what we're going to do we're going to do three diagonal one two three with the andesite and then next to this lantern we're going to get polished uh andesite stairs out and do one two two three four in line with that and then we're going to put a slab right there a full block on top of that one with a lantern on top of it there we go and then we can put two polished andesite there and there <laughs> this is kind of a crazy build and then next to it we're going to do two polished andesite like that with two stone bricks on top of it and then another slab and another stair or not another stair another slab and another full block and then another slab diagonal to it with a stair right or a block i don't keep saying stair it's a block and then this block is going to uh just drag it over for a distance now uh we'll figure out, we'll figure out that distance in a second i'm gonna do it on the other side as well just to there for now and i'm gonna just i'm gonna copy everything i've built on um that side to this side real quick all right so we're going to continue this now uh we're gonna put a stone brick there and there for now uh so we have these four and then two and then two horizontally and then go up again diagonally and this should be a total of five so that's one two three four five and then we're gonna start heading back down so two right there and diagonal two down there and then knock out this piece of grass and put two right there into the ground and uh, we can also get rid of this piece of grass right here this sort of this side sort of just like goes into the hill um and then on this side do the same thing so it's five uh two um two and then this side we can actually go all the way down into that block right there break out this one break this fern and we're going to start filling it in and this one right here filled in with stone bricks and then just connect all of these with stone bricks underneath like this so and we also need to get rid of that slab we put there we go so the underneath of the bridge should look like that gives it a nice little archway over the river uh and then all we need to do is fill in more stone bricks like all along this right here and connect it actually i think that might be the the right the right the exact right spot how much did i do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right and then uh fill in this whole side as well break out this tall fern by the way that one's that one's in the way but this one can stay uh, don't forget I'm, i kind of forgot to put my lantern right there and next thing we're going to do we are going to get our slabs back out skip this one and put slabs every other one one two three four five slabs one two three four five slabs and there should be a total of um six slabs so actually we need to go one more and put a slab right there and there put a stone brick underneath these uh sorry guys there should actually be seven so uh we just need to add three more blocks one two three one two three and that's the that's the final length and uh, there should be three blocks left of the path and then we're gonna put a full block on these ones uh, a slab in these spots and then um, a lantern on top of these and there's a few more lanterns that need to go on here uh, so one on the very edge and then skip one put a lantern skip two and put a lantern and put them in the same spots right here and uh, there we go that's the bridge all we need to do put a little stone brick right there uh, put three stone bricks right there and uh, that is the entire bridge okay so before we start uh the actual castle i cleared out a few trees uh, around this area i think what i'm gonna do we're gonna build the path leading up to the front of the castle uh we're gonna build the front wall uh and i think we're gonna call it an episode i don't want to go i don't know how long this is gonna be so far i'm assuming about about like 30 minutes so far so i don't want to make it super long if you guys want longer episodes just go ahead and say in the in the comments but i think i'm gonna keep this one a little short uh so some quick terraforming i uh, can remove these blocks right here fill in this row right here uh get rid of every all the blocks around this right here and what we're gonna do we're going to put three and a site right here and then four more on either side so four on this side one two three four on this side and um then so once we have this there should be a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, we're gonna put a block up right here and this is gonna be a total of eight going to the left so that's one two three four five six seven eight and just dig it into the ground don't worry about the ground right now everything will be terraformed uh, i'm just mostly focusing on the build right now so i'm gonna flatten everything in between this and on this side uh, i'm gonna remove a few one two three four five six seven eight and there we go and everything in between this we're going to dig out all of this ground like a lot of this mountain gets dug away from the mountain or <laughs> mountain gets dug away from the mountain a lot of this gets dug away for Earth's castle so 
we, we have plenty of building to do. So, what we're going to do now is get our andesite out. And instead of building a row of andesite right here, go in one. And this is where the andesite is. Because the wall, funny story, the wall got extended. It got, like, thickened so that uh, Bad Boy Halo could build that statue of Eret. Right, so I'm going to use some world edit here. But obviously, you can just do it um, normally. Oh, I mistyped the wand. Uh, we're going to dig out all the grass in between this. And then I'm going to get my slabs and continue the slabs across here. Uh, but the andesite does, like, get in between the way of the slabs. Uh, and then I'm going to get stone bricks and fill in the rest of this with stone bricks. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to start building the front wall of the castle. Uh, and then we'll build the path leading up to the, the front door of the castle. And that's pretty much where we're going to leave it off. Um, so right here, there's this block. Well, this block, and this is going to be a total of 13 blocks tall. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Just like that. And then we're going to build... Uh, and along the top and connect it down to this spot 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. Just double check all your measurements. Good idea. <clears throat> then we're going to do another row underneath this. It's the same pattern as these walls, except it's pretty big. Uh, and then we're going to do the archway that goes right here. So I'm going to get the stone bricks out. And in either corner, we're going to do 3, then 2, then 1. 3, 2, 1. Then we're going to put uh, a block there and there a stair there and there and then a slab connecting it like that on the bottom parts we're going to put a block underneath these with a stair and a stair there and then just two stairs there and there uh two stairs upside down stairs there and there and there we go that's the archway uh in the middle now on either side of this we're going to go out one two three four five and then bring this one up a total of 13 as well at the same height connect it along the top with the second row, there's always going to be two rows thick of andesite right here. And then in this spot right here, we're going to put an andesite in all four corners. And then we're going to fill in the rest with stone bricks like this. And we're going to do this on the other side as well. So I'll see you when I do that. There we go. Our front wall should look just like this. So on either side, we're going to do the right side first because it's a little easier. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do another five. One, two, three, four, five. Bring this one up and connect it along the top for the top two rows and we're going to do the same thing four in the middle and then fill it in with stone bricks so that would be one two and there should be a total of four so that'd be one two three and four so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a little bit more world edits and like i've been saying you can obviously just use uh just build it by hand if you need to and i'm going to stack this a total of three times so this is what your wall is going to look like once you've built that it'll have one two three four panels just like this uh, it should line up like pretty much with this area in the ground and this is floating right now and a little bit of terraforming we'll do a little bit of this right now we're gonna uh, get some grass and drag it along here and back one like that and then this spot we're gonna just do this and uh there we go that's all the terraforming in this spot right here actually there's there's two blocks right there in case you wanted that um and i'm not gonna worry about everything else and then last detail there's uh torches in these spots and then in the middle of all of these right there so there we go. Once you have your wall built like this, do that on the other side, and I'll see you when I do that. All right, so on this side, I flattened uh, any of the ground that was in the way, but don't worry about, like, what's inside the walls. Like, it does, it's not going to really matter. Uh, and then over here, last detail you're going to want, put a block there and a block there. Uh, actually, this will be three blocks and then two blocks there because uh, the wall is going to curve around. And uh, there we go. There's our front wall looking very grand, um, just like that. So I think next, what we're going to do... Alright, we're going to work a little bit on the curve right here. And I think we're going to stop for the wall. Episode 2, we're going to do the entire outside wall. And honestly, I think that's going to be its its own episode. So after this wall right here, uh, we're going to go diagonal. And this is going to be a total of 3. And then another diagonal. And this is going to be 2. Another diagonal. This is going to be 1. The next layer... I'm just going to build on top of the ground for now. This is gonna, For now, I'm going to build on top of the ground. So after the 1, there should be 2 here. Uh, and then 3. And then this is going to flatten out right here. So that is our curve, even though it's on different terrain. So it goes three, two, one, two, three, and then flattened out again. And uh, so for the first part, that is three. Uh, the the third one here, we're going to drag this one up and then connect the top two layers. And then the rest of it, we're going to fill it in with stone bricks. And uh, once you're going to get the pattern, you're going to get the pattern down um, after only building this for a little bit. You'll figure out like it's very repetitive on all the walls, even when it's different elevations. Which is really the main area you need to look at. And on these two, these both are just going to be stone bricks. Uh, all at the same layer. Like this. And then obviously put our little 2x2 two two of andesite right there. The one is all andesite. And then on this spot right here, 
right we need to we need to do a little bit of a little bit of terrain right here so i'm gonna break out these tall ferns this grass we did one back here uh then we're gonna connect this one over here fill in these spots and then we are going to put two there two there one there and there should also be torches right there and there and put a block up here and a block right there so there we go after these two then we can raise it up and uh, it's getting a little bit sh it's getting a little shorter now so build, build our two by two and then on this third one what we can do is uh we can put that one here knock this one out and this will be stone bricks so bring this up here we go also if you're building this in survival i am so sorry for you like this must be awful to do i don't even know how eric was able to do this uh this spot right here uh this is where the pattern is finally going to continue um so we're gonna build a column up here i'm not really too worried about the walls at the moment uh and also these ones down here aren't gonna be here uh, and then it'll be like one here leave one skip one like that we're kind of getting our head of we're getting ahead of ourselves right here but there we go that's the pattern that goes in this wall if you want to copy this uh so it'll look like it'll look like that and then the wall will continue and it'll do all its crazy things so um i think we're gonna we're gonna leave the wall for now exactly how it is and let's do let's do the middle of this area and build the path up here and we're gonna call it good all right so the prime path leading up here we're gonna put three slabs right there and then we're gonna do four one two three four like this so everything else get out of the way and there's also like this rainbow beacon redstone machine right here which we'll do uh so after these four then we want to go up slabs 17 so if you built the prime path you should be a pro at this now so we need one two three four five six seven and i just mentioned this is going to go and in, dig into the hill like quite a lot so that's one two oops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen there we go there's 17 right there and then after the 17th one actually well we need to connect it all the way along so just dig out exactly what you need um so you can finish the path so I'll be right back once I have this path done. There we go. There's the 17th one in our path. Don't worry about anything else on the sides. We'll do that all later. Also, let me get rid of uh, this tree that's in my way. Uh, so what we're going to do after the 17th one, then it should flatten out for five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Connect it along here. Just like this. Boom, boom, boom. And after this fifth one, we're going to put three anisite in the floor. And that is the first that is the, the first uh that's the front door sorry that's the front door of Eric's castle so we're gonna put like three uh a little make a little five by five square in here and that's the front door of Eric's castle um i think that's gonna end off for episode one i know we're kind of leaving it off in a weird spot right there but you know we we definitely got some some good work done we have this area fully furnished we have this oh wait 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 no 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 last detail for this episode we're gonna do some stuff um right here so on this tower right here we're going to come to this spot skip three and on the fourth one uh put three back here and two over and two overs to make like a little three by three but keep the front empty we're gonna do a double chest uh facing the castle walls and then a hopper facing into that a glass block on top of this one and raise these walls up um like this connect it to make a little three by three cube just like this and there should be a sign on top of this thing that says chicken nuggy or what it should say chicken spawner for nuggy heart exactly like that there we go and if you want some torches there's a torch back there there's a torch right here and there's a torch lined up on the path with that thing and there's a torch there uh and we'll do like some of the flowers and finer details um probably at the end of the tutorial and there's a few chests out here so where this lantern was go to the stair that's right here and in line with that we're gonna do a double chest there a double chest there and stack this these double chests up a uh, total of three uh, you'll see what i mean like that there we go and there's just some chests and that thing and i think just like that we're gonna leave off episode one uh we've been going for um i'm recording for about an hour i don't know this video might be like mm, 45 minutes or so 30 30 minutes i don't know so thank you everyone for watching Eris castle tutorial part one this is gonna be a, a long I'm, I'm assuming four maybe five parts uh, i'm gonna spread it out though i'm not gonna like release all five uh it'll it'll be periodically but i'll make sure i get this out pretty quick uh so thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel obviously make sure that you're subscribed to the youtube channel uh and i will see you in the next video goodbye